Good morning, guys. Today, I thought we would do another day in the life of a potty training family here. So Aaron is still working on potty training. We are nearly four weeks into really hitting it hardcore. And up until just today is going to be day three of us actually trying, we're trying to put underwear on Aaron and have him work on pulling them up and down instead of being naked. So up until just like two, three days ago, he was like totally naked all day inside the house and we would wear training pants or a diaper or something when we left the house or played outside or whatever. But just a few days ago, we started actually trying working on pulling up underwear up and down. So that's our goal for this week. He's been doing pretty good at it. He has had a couple accidents in his underwear Whereas when he was going naked, he like rarely, rarely ever had accidents like peed on himself or peed on the floor or whatever. So the underwear is kind of throwing him for a curve a little bit, trying to remember that it's not safe to pee just because you're wearing something on your butt. But he has been doing super good with poos. We haven't had any poo accidents in probably a couple of weeks. So that's been really great. He just had a big poop this morning. The thing that kind of bugs me about Aaron's poop, I don't know, this is a pie training video, so I mean, TMI it comes with the territory, right? But he will like almost always, he'll sit down, poop a little bit, and then he'll like say he's done and go play a little bit, like maybe five minutes, and then come back and sit down and poop a little bit more, and then like repeat it like two or three times. And it's just kind of annoying when you're like trying to do other things. Like I'm trying to eat my breakfast this morning and he's in there saying, go poo, go poo. And then I have to sit with him and wait for him and then wipe his butt and then go spray it off in the toilet and all that stuff. So it's uh, it's a little more hectic than with Calvin. Calvin's always just like sat down and pooped and, and done with it. But Aaron's like got to poop in like segments. <laughs> so these are the underwear I've been putting on Aaron lately. They're just like some little like boxer briefs and they're a little bit too big for him. So they're very loose in the waist. Not like they fall down, but they're just super easy for him to pull up and down. So that's what he's been mostly wearing. And then if we leave the house, we'll actually put on like some waterproof diaper situation or potty training pants situation over here and sometimes actually these ones are pretty good too these are Hudson baby I believe is the brand I just got them on Amazon when Cal was little but they're relatively loose on him as well and they actually have a little bit you might be able to hear it a little bit of uh, like PUL or something waterproof in there that kind of helps for tiny accidents so yeah, just overall, we're just wearing looser fitting underwear around the house so he can really easily pull them up and down. He has been super good at pulling them down, but we're still working on pulling them up. He can't always get like the butt side up correctly, but as long as he's wearing like looser fitting underwear, he's really good about pulling them down and he does take them off completely because they're more like those boxer styles. So they don't like stay on his ankles very well. They kind of just fall off anyway. So um, he will like totally remove his underwear and then I have to help him put them back on because he's still working on trying to figure out how to put them on himself. He, he doesn't have that down yet. Let Okay, can you push the big dump truck, Cal, so Aaron can put stuff in it? Okay. What's on you? A spider web. <laughs> you filling up the tires? Yeah. We did have to change Aaron's underwear because he sat on some wet stuff outside in the backyard. You're doing so good, Aaron! So I'm upstairs editing a video and Aaron and Calvin are up here too playing with some toys out in the hallway and Aaron needed to go potty and I ran in and he was taking off his underwear by himself so he was like caught up in them a little bit on his ankles and then I went back and checked on them a couple minutes later and he had peed a little bit on the floor but he got a little bit in the toilet as well, so that's that. It's just so weird because he hasn't been having accidents when he's not wearing underwear. It's like underwear makes him like have to restart all over again. Oh, and something that I just remembered that I wanted to mention is that maybe if you saw my other videos about our pie training journey, we were doing like a sticker reward system. We've kind of totally phased that out. I've taken the little piece of uh, construction paper off of the fridge and I've taken the stickers away so he's not really asking for stickers if he were to ask me I would give him a sticker but we're kind of just doing you know verbal 
um, rewards, just like being excited when he goes potty and, you know, like telling him he's doing, he's doing such a good job and that kind of stuff. So we have kind of phased out um, actual rewards. You know, he's not getting candy anymore for peas or poos and he's not getting stickers anymore. And several days he hasn't asked for a sticker. So we're just getting excited for him and uh, using our voices to tell him that he's being super, super awesome about potty training. So that's really great because I know it took a long time to get rid of rewards for Calvin, our oldest, when we were potty training him. Come on, this is fire. You better come. Are you driving? <laughs> yeah, I'm just waiting for you and Aaron to come. come Aaron, on. come on. Take down your underwear. <laughs> you gonna go pee? Yeah. Uh, you need to go poo? <laughs> your hair is crazy. No. You need to go poo? Me go buddy, mommy. Okay. And then Aaron, be a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Make a dinosaur face. <laughs> Stump. <laughs> you be a dinosaur, Cal. We just got a couple packages and the boys are going to color all over the boxes. Does that sound like fun, Aaron? It just keeps rolling over. I know, baby, that's okay. We can put here, put this next to it and it won't roll away. It'll stay close. Yeah. Color took us all over the place. Oh what, Mom? What'd you do? Did you trace it? Yeah! Let me see, let me see. Uh, what does he think? Yeah! Look! Good job! Because everyone knows coloring on these big boxes is way more exciting than using paper. Right, guys? Yeah, right. <laughs> Aaron's been doing super awesome, pulling down his underwear on his own and going potty. We just had the one accident so far today that I told you about earlier. Do you need to go potty right now? Yeah. Okay, pull down your underwear. But I'm still helping him pull them up because he has, he takes them off completely and he can't figure out how to put them on. So he's pulling them down by himself though. Actually, to be more accurate, I will put them around his ankles and then he stands up and pulls them up and I usually help him get the butt side because he, he hasn't figured out how to reach around back and pull up the back side. So we're working on it. You want me to kiss the baby? Yeah. Are you falling in the couch? Look at the footage stuff. Can you stuck. Get out! Speak! I saved your foot! Oh uh, no! <laughs> Time to clean up. Because daddy will be home soon. You ready guys? They don't look ready. You work with daddy? Good job, good job. Yeah. Gotta reach around and get the butt side. Get the butt 
outside. There you go. Good job. Rah! Hi, Erin. What do you want to play with next, Gal? Horse. That's a horse? Yay! <laughs> For bedtime lately, we've been trying to put Aaron in some training pants instead of a traditional diaper since I can usually catch him, uh, catch his first pee uh, outside of the diaper in the morning. And because sometimes at bedtime he likes to go potty at the last minute while he still has his diaper on. So tonight he's going to be wearing this Nikki's size large overnight diaper. And I'm not gonna put the extra flat in there. It's enough absorbency for his first pee. He's not a heavy wetter or anything. So that's what he's gonna be wearing for overnight. That's the kind of diaper that he has been wearing for overnight, just something that pulls up and down on him instead of a traditional diaper diaper where it's a little bit more difficult. You know, you gotta lay him down in order to put it back on and all that good stuff. This, he can stand up, take it off and on easily. So that's what he'll be wearing for bed tonight. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little potty training update and give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. I don't know how many more of these we will do because Aaron's doing really good lately. Um, I don't know if we're going to keep putting up potty training updates. Maybe like when he gets like really close to being like totally potty trained when he's gone like several days without any accidents or anything. I don't really know. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Aaron, do you want to say night night? You don't want to say night-night? Say night-night!